start before you start real quick. Whoa, it started. It started. It started. Yeah, yeah, forget it. He said, "Yo, before you start, the 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 the, the toothpick, the toothpaste is out of the uh, out of the tube." Yes, sir. So, Joe, hold that thought. Yes, I am. All right. So, I'm told that okay. Now, live in channel, YouTube is live. Uh, Twitch should be live. And we're on Twitter also. So this is Late Night Parents. This is Ted Hicks. It's been about a month, month and a half since we did any type of live. I got JoJo. I got Tony D. Brian is coming. Um, potentially SNS is coming. Ace World. Your name is Ace World. Um, showing up. Guys, what's been going on? Happy Thanksgiving Eve to both of you. Yeah. Yep. I'm celebrating my birthday today, so I'm actually awake. Appreciate y'all for popping up in here. It's been a minute. I'm glad we did this. This is an excellent present, in my opinion. I like this. Yes. Yeah, dude. So, happy. well, first of all, happy birthday to you. Appreciate and it. In 13 minutes, it'll be JoJo's birthday. So, Thanks. one will be ending and another one starting so right. um happy birthday to both of you guys yes sir. what did you guys do or what are you planning to do for your birthdays and or thanksgiving thanksgiving i'll be here with family um they're actually making dinner they started the day and they're gonna make some more tomorrow uh we ate like crazy today yesterday i had a cousin get married so we had the wedding and the reception yesterday and then tomorrow's gonna be Thanksgiving. So it's been a busy past two, three days for me. Okay. It truly has. Um, thank you to everybody who told me happy birthday on Facebook. Big up to my man Rich Roberts. He threw it out there on his own broadcast this morning. The um morning coffee with him. a uh, lot of Facebook posts, Instagram posts, the folks on their time. We was up there at midnight. So when midnight kicked in, they did a big old Wow. Birthday gifts and they right. play the music for me. Oh, big up, big up to my air time for my hats, folks. I keep telling people I fight for my hats, people on purpose. And what happened last <laughs> night? One of the reasons why I keep damn doing it. That's one of the reasons why I keep damn doing it. They came through, man. I, I was, it got me. I ain't gonna front, it got me. I didn't expect that. And they did it. J Money, Pena, Coach Poole, Leslie, Toby, Debbie, uh, a couple of folks that we met while we was on there. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. They 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 came through. I'm grateful, man. So to the world's greatest MMA uh, analyst, prognosticator, huh. all the above. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing? Um. Pretty much, you know, it's gonna be family. We're gonna be eating swall. Um oh. I'll just be thinking another year. I'm still here. You know what I mean? Um last couple of years been kind of crazy, but you yeah. gotta give the Lord things that you still out here. Always. You're still able to do things, yes, you know sir. what I mean? So appreciate that. I'll be the, another year. Keep moving strong. Keep watching these fights. Keep talking about these fights. Keep enunciating and bellowing these names. <laughs> and keep doing all that I can do, man, while I still have the ability to do it. Yes, sir. Yo, Joe, I thought of you the other day. I was in, um, so today, okay, so it's almost Thanksgiving. So it had to be Tuesday. It wasn't Tuesday. Then it was Monday. I was at the roadie spot. And I was going to take a picture because it was the, um, damn, what did they have on the menu? Yo, they had something crazy on the menu, but something you was hollering about. Oh, man. It was saltfish. And it was... Something you was screaming about, and I was just like, "Yo, this is Joe right here." It wasn't <laughs> eggs. It wasn't eggs, but it was. Damn, I missed it. 
I totally, I totally, you know, I saw I had a, a super grin on my face. I didn't have my phone with me. If I did, I would have taken a picture and sent it to you. Well, yeah, hockey and sawfish. Yeah, hockey and there you go. There you go. That's what it was. La- That's what it was. <laughs> and I was like, where's Joe? I said, Joe. Oh. Uh, Dude. What was it, like a week or two ago? Yeah, like a week or two ago. These These folks went out. And they came back with like a squadron. We had like a whole like container full of like dal pori. It's pretty much like roti, but it got the split peas in the middle. So we had like a whole platoon of them things. Yeah. <clears throat> and we had some aki here as well. Like, yo, it was crazy out here. We had pine tarts and cheese rolls and yo, tennis rolls and all that, man. Yo, two weeks ago I was in Montego Bay. It was beautiful out there, man. It was, I mean, it was just because it was, it was like it was 40 degrees in New York. You yeah. hopped on the flight, you, you, what was it, three hours later, boom, yeah. you land, and it's just like, I don't know, mid 80s, low to mid 80s. It's just beautiful down there. It's like, somewhere where you can, potentially go to retire. Yeah. You know, it was one of those. It was one of those things, but it was a quick, short stay. And that's the whole, the whole gimmick is um, y'all might think I'm crazy because you're like, yo, you going on vacation again? Yo, I'm only doing like four day trips. So it's like four days, three nights. So the prices are right. So this past trip that just went on was it was only seventeen hundred bucks, and that was flight, hotel at the Palladium, all inclusive, yeah. and car service to and from the airport it was all roped in there. So it's it's, it's all bad. about say it again. As I was saying, that's not bad, right? That's not bad, no. So it's it's it's. I try to call myself, you know, the educated consumer or the shopper or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the way we've been able to kind of jet around after, you know, two years of just COVID, just sitting in the crib, um, doing nothing, all the above. Um, Joe, what's on the um, agenda for this weekend? I know you, you know, I've been, we've been following you streaming for the past, I would say, year maybe longer it was like you know early haps when we got turned on to you because we didn't follow you during the, the periscope days but yeah. what are you covering this weekend well this weekend is going to be kind of a it's an interesting one um gonna be watching this uh as far as mma goes this pfl the championships mm-hmm. that's gonna be taking place um on friday uh, as you can see here in the background, they're going to be at MSG. I, I think they're, they're at MSG. They're at Madison Square, I think, if I remember. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, man. So we got uh, – hold on. We got the point out, right? Hold on. Point it. There you go. So we got over here in the women's, they got Kayla Harrison versus Larissa Pacheco. Under that, we got Brendan Laughlin. Well, Larissa Pacheco and Kayla Harrison are fighting for the women's lightweight title, the championship. Whoever wins this championship finals will win a million dollars and have the title. Below them, you got Brendan Loughnane versus Bubba Jenkins. That's the featherweight um, finals. Below them, you got, um, oh, my God. Take your time, take your time. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, uh, what's remember, this guy saying? Yo, remember, oh. Google is your friend. No, hold on. <laughs> um, I, no, I remember this guy's name. I'm trying to remember his name off of the phone. You forgot a name. Let me find No, that. no, shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Hold on. <laughs> no, 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 no. He fought Izzy. Rob Wilkinson. There you go. Rob Wilkinson. Is fighting Omari Akhmedov. That's gonna be your um your light heavyweight. There you go. 
your light heavy. Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. on the side next to them, you got uh the homie, um, Ilya. Uh, what's this guy's name? <gasps> um, oh my no, god, no, no, I can't no, pronounce no. it. No, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Ante Delizia, there you go. Ante Delizia, who was a finalist last year. He's fighting Matteo Scheffel. Now, the the background story is crazy. is because Matteo Scheffel fought for the UFC. He was fighting on the Contender Series last year. No, 2020. He got knocked the hell out and then magically shows up here in this tournament after training a little bit and magically finds himself in the final, fighting for a million dollars and fighting this guy, Ante Lilia, who was the finalist on last year's um, – <clears throat> PFL here at heavyweight. Then you have above that. Uh, hold on, let me get the point. There you go. Two dudes who probably shouldn't even be in this final, but they are <laughs> in um the homeboy Sadabu C. Um, boy, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Sadabu C. On what the fuck is this guy? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Trying to remember. Trying to remember. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm trying Take to remember his name. Um, Danilo Taylor, there you go, because he fought uh Rob McDonald, not Rob McDonald, Rory McDonald. He fought Rory McDonald in the final. Everybody thought Rory was gonna be the Rory was supposed to be the big favorite, and Rory got knocked the hell out, which is sad. And then after that, you have um, all uh, all. Omar Aubin Mercier, who's a training partner of George St. Pierre, fighting Stevie Ray out of the um, UK. So that's what's happening there. Also, um, boxing, I know uh, Progress is supposed to be boxing, right? Regis Progress, he's supposed to fight Jose Zepeda for the WBC uh, welterweight title. I remember that. That's supposed to be happening on Saturday. Um, and Dillian White's supposed to be boxing Jermaine Franklin. Um, on yeah, on Saturday, there's a couple other boxing fights, but the two important ones are Progress Zapeta and um, the homie White versus Franklin. But yeah, that's what's going down pretty much for the weekend. Yeah, no UFC, yeah. UFC is, is off for the week. Yeah, no UFC. Ellen, how you doing? What's up? Um, yep. We got um. We're finally getting not only well, we get are we getting Spence Crawford? Is that in the books or they're still digging Spence around? Spence Crawford that? is still going through negotiations. There's a lot of negotiation that's going on. Um, I know Spence is supposed to be now fighting um, Keith Thurman. He's supposed really? to be fighting, yeah. He's gonna be fighting Keith Thurman, which is funny because when Spence wasn't a champion, Thurman wasn't trying to fight him, and Thurman was a champion. And now the other is the other foot now, where you have Spence holding titles, pretty much right. mostly unified, pretty much, and he's fighting Thurman because he has to defend mandatory. So um, that's happening. Crawford, we got, we're getting we getting tank. Gar Garcia. Yes, in April. Thank Finally. God. Yeah. So um Tank is gonna have that tune up fight. I forgot what homeboy's name was, but a lot of people thought it was gonna be um Gary Russell Jr. But nah, you can't have Gary Russell Jr. fight Gary Russell, then go to Ryan Garcia. That's stupid. That don't even make sense. Right. That makes no sense for the record of Gary Russell has. And how skilled that dude is. I could say though, whoever wins between these two, Garcia and Tank, you could probably throw Gary Russell in the mix right after that. Um, because you know, everybody's gonna be hustling. You got Haney, you got Shakur Stevenson, who's probably gonna be lined up with um homeboy Isa Cruz. Haney wants uh Lomachenko, so that's gonna be up next. Because they both want the fight, so they're gonna make that happen for sure. Um, who else? Yeah, so that's pretty much all lined up mostly, as far as those lightweights, featherweights go. Um, who is it? Uh, 
They're also trying to make trying to line up them some of the a couple of other fights here and there, you know. Um Usyk is supposed to have a fight lined up sometime soon. Uh, you know, uh Tyson Fury's of a fight. Uh this dude, Derek Chisora, for some reason, I don't know what the hell it is. Really? So, yeah, that fight's really gonna happen. And it's sad. It's really mm-hmm. sad. Because Chisora's like what, 42? Yeah, he's up there. He's, he's up, up there. there. And this fight makes no sense because he already got beat up by Fury. So what are we doing here? Right. Yeah, what are we doing here? Hashtag what are we doing here? Um <laughs> so that makes no sense. It makes no sense. They want AJ. I think they want to line up AJ and Wilder. I know Wilder wants to fight Ruiz, but you got to line up AJ and Wilder. That's open market right now as Come far on. as heavyweight fights go. Who wants to see that? Who wants to see that? Who wants to see AJ? That's, there's money. There's money in it. AJ is such a... There's money he's, in it. He's so there's, washed. There's money in it. But you know where the bigger money comes? If Wilder goes to the UK. Yes. If Wilder takes the trip, and that's what he needs to do. Yes. Wilder's been a US name for quite a while. He needs to take the risk and travel overseas. Right. I got to pause the cause. JoJo, I got to pause you real quick. Sure. Happy birthday, brother. It's midnight. Happy Yay! Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Happy to you. Birthday. Oh, Brian, don't do that. Oh, my God. I'll be right back. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'll say happy birthday. Mr. Tony. My niece is over here remixing happy birthday. Ice Spice. Yo. I don't know. Yo, yeah, yeah, my niece is over here remixing happy birthday with Ice Spice lyrics. I don't understand that. Nice. Uh-oh. Another she episode of Ted not knees. wearing Under Armour. But yeah, man. <laughs> and then, yo. And then you got Better Beef and um, Cheers. what's his name? Bivol. Yeah, man. And yeah, you see Bivol. Bivol wants to fight Better Beef. So that's going to get lined up. So wait, Tony's uh, birthday is officially over. It was. Yes, I Alice. Was 50th birthday. Joe's is starting. Thank yes. you to each and all. And America I, is Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. Birthday again. And we got Brian in the house. Yeah. Finally. December 1st will be my day. There you yeah, go. That's crazy. And then after yours is my brother's birthday. That's crazy, Brian. Wow. Yeah. And yo, we were just yeah. talking about this earlier, too. Me, me, me and my little niece, we was talking about that. All her friends' birthdays are around her family's birthdays. And now, look. It's like crazy. So, so being that, with that being said, all the Sagittarius, we should celebrate a weekend in Vegas. So, Brian keeps throwing these crib plans, man. Let's go ahead. 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 We had the discussion last year. We had the discussion last year. We'll stay, we'll stay at the Excalibur. It's $28 a night. You got to get there. Yeah. Okay, how you going to get there? <laughs> how we going to get there? You can get there, but how we going to get there? Spirit Airlines. God, not Spirit. I'll yeah, not fun. spirit. Spirit? You trying to spirit. fight people on your way going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> We're going to fight customers, employees. <laughs> Yo, spirit. What do you, is what do you mean you charge me $15 for this bottle of water? Hell no, nah, man. <laughs> it's post COVID, baby. It's post COVID. Dude. Damn inflation. They won't, charge, they won't charge. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, no, no. Like Frontier, S- Southwest Airlines. I can do Frontier. Frontier. I got room in my seat. I can do Frontier. S- Southwest Airlines for me. I'm a Delta man, but I can do Frontier. I mean, I mean, I have accounts with both Southwest Airlines and United. So, so what if you don't have an account, Brian? How you gonna get there? <laughs> I'll just pay. I'll okay. pay. It. Okay. <laughs> That's why we haven't gone yet. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, like, I'll pay, I'll, I'll take Southwest Airlines, I'll stay at the Excalibur or the Luxor. It don't matter to me. 
I love to go. I just want to have the money. I need at least five Gs for walking that city. Twenty five hundred. For, for Vegas, you can, you can pay me. To, you can five pay me to Vegas. for Vegas. Okay, let's you, do this. Let's lay on a budget. Let's lay land parents dot com. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, live streamers and audience members of all ages, if you were to go to Vegas and you knew where you wanted to stay, how much would it cost you to leave the house and then get back to the house? I'll wait. <coughs> uh, on average, on an average ballpark for me, I would probably say eighteen hundred. Can we do the math, Ted? Can we do the math real quick? Good, you can do because, math. No, 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 no. Because no, no. Yeah. Because if I planned it right, if I do flight and hotel. Yes. Yeah. If I do flight and hotel uh-huh. together, that's uh-huh. looking at about six hundred dollars right there. Flight okay. and hotel. Mm-hmm. Then on top of that, uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for the round trip shuttle, the shuttle trip from the airport to to hotel and back. Uh-huh. So that's twenty dollars. And then no, on top of that, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Now on top of that, food no, stick with the buffet. Forty round trip shuttles at least forty because you got a tip. No, stop. no, no, no. I know, I know. No, no. If you do Showtime, if you do Showtime Shuttle, it's eight dollars. It's eight dollars one way. So round trip, right that's sixteen, sixteen, twenty dollars. So twenty dollars. That's with tip. Now, for now those then, of you who are flying, you have to park your car at the airport. How much is it going to cost you to keep your car parked while you're going? Ah, that's why you have friends to drop you off. Some of us don't. So how much is it going to cost you to park your car while you're going? Pay that dollar twenty-five around that metro. <laughs> Take a what? Take an Uber. How much Take, the Uber cost? No, 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 no. To pay a dollar twenty-five, ride that bus. <laughs> it's an hour and a half to the airport for me. An hour and a half to the airport for me. Yes. Wow. Oh. See, 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 y'all, 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 y'all thinking along your lines. We gotta think for everybody else. You gotta yeah. get to the airport. There's gas money. You gotta pay for parking. You gotta pay for your flight. You gotta pay for luggage on the flight because everybody ain't flying Southwest. It's real. Then you got to get to the airport. You got to get a shuttle to your room. Or Bags get a by free on Southwest. And all you so, need is one. No bet. No baggage okay. charge on Southwest. Okay, so, so <laughs> points on another airline. Joe, when you fly out, where, where you where do you go? You go to Connecticut. Here. Yeah. Nah, man. Where where do you fly? You go to LaGuardia or, or JFK? Either or, or, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, now we gotta do the math on this. How much the hotel? Yeah, that's it. and if I do Southwest Airlines, I fly out of Hobby. If I do United, I go out of Bush. Helen, you live in the arts end of nowhere. <laughs> the the ocean. Wait, wait, wait. Helen got to get across the ocean and the continent. I don't want to hear. <laughs> yeah, she got to fly off the island. And, yeah, man. Yo, yo, and Joe. And depending on who's driving. It could be like that good, like what is it, like an hour or something, two hour trip, or it could be like less than an hour, depending on who's who's yeah, how you yeah. travel. Joe. So so it's What's just up? a lot of planning. Lot of is 15 minutes planning. It takes a lot of money, honestly. You need to have at least twenty five hundred five G. Is that that? I said JFK is fifteen minutes away. LaGuardia is about thirty five minutes away. LaGuardia's farther than that to stop playing. <laughs> For no, him. it's not. All right, been in traffic. That grand Central, they stop it. For him, for me, for him, not for, <laughs> right, for right, me. Right, right, right. Like, for that's why I want to fight him. Like, yo, yo. Joe did go across two boroughs to get to the airport. Shut up, damn. Yo, I'm on, damn. Listen, wow, I'm on. <laughs> 6 a.m. flights. He got to okay. fight all that. Listen, he got to get a night flight so he don't run into no traffic. We already know what it is. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm on the, no, I'm on the same level with Ted. First flight out, last flight back. First flight out. Okay. You there at 8 30 in the morning and you can't check into your room until two. Because flying, because flying to go out, that traffic is crazy. But getting off to come back home. That's a breeze. Like y'all never understand it, yo. I know. I already know. I don't even talk about it. Like, That's why I was there. asking you, Joe. I was like, yo, you and the DX. It, it. I was thinking it was closer going to Connecticut or something like that. Yeah. Hey, uh, maybe AOC could hook you up with a discount flight. Ooh. You're like, hey, I'm your constituent. 
Might as well you just tell me like, yo, let me let me lay up on spirit then. Like, yo, help me out, mom. Not, I won't complain about anything. I won't <laughs> complain about anything then. I'll get there whatever time. When I get there, it's like whatever. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need that Delta so I can put that movie on when I fall asleep. Yes. I'll be getting yeah. caught up movies. That last yeah. flight I flew. <clears throat> in New York, they had that new Top Gun on Delta. Boy, I had that bad boy. I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know you right when you were Delta. Yes, that's true. Yo, you that's on Delta? True. Yo, the last the, the last three trips I've taken, I've done strictly Delta. I was like, yeah, this is this thing. Uh, yeah, Thank you don't gotta worry about it at all, man. Yeah, the only Delta the only other time I ever the only time I ever get to watch anything on a plane was like on United. United's okay. I like United. They bought yeah, United's United is cool, yeah. What I wanted to do was get back with whoever had U.S. Airways because U.S. Airways used to be it's my It's the smoke. The what up, sir? Smoke, what's good, it's bro? The smoke. What's going on? What's going on? I know you're going we're, live we're soon. Going. Yeah, get it, Jake. Nunning it up. Um, Ryan, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, Going to my friend Tara's house. Um... Because it'll be her first time hosting. That's what took me so long. Because I was yet again saving the holiday. So I was making three side dishes. And what were the, what were the sides? Uh, bacon. I, I had to do two batches of uh, mac and cheese. So I had to do one that was like just strictly Oaxacan cheese uh, and jalapeno macaroni. And then the other batch was bacon jalapeno mac so using oaxaca cheese all i know is american and cheddar and you come out with these syllables like jojo y'all killing me up here with the oaxaca Oaxaca cheese all all natural all natural oaxaca cheese oh boy that oaxaca cheese man and then and then i and then uh i mean and then for like i did scallop potatoes but i could do like fresh like really good Southern home style au gratin potatoes, but since I was pressed for time, I I do my half ass version. Okay, where I buy like the, the the cans of sliced potatoes, lay it in there, and then I get the bag, and then I get the instant the instant when you buy in the box, and I lay it out on top, and then I just brew up the the sauce, and I just pour it in there, and then let it sit, and then I add the rest of the Oaxaca cheese in there. <laughs> Make you a batch. Just said, Screw you, daughter. <laughs> so, so halfway. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so I, I put the rest of the Oaxaca cheese on it. That's done, and then I did uh, yeah. the Pepperidge Farm uh, cornbread dressing. So, Ooh. yeah, I like that. cornbread dressing. I like that. That's yeah. So yeah, so my friend Tara, she's making, she's doing the turkey, making the deviled eggs, she's making the dessert, and I, I got, I forgot the rolls. I couldn't believe I forgot the rolls. Dinner rolls are the easiest thing to buy. That's my contribution to anybody's Thanksgiving dinner. I got the dinner rolls. Yeah. So hopefully, lazy bastard. Yeah. Hey, I could do a southern style, all gratin, with you know, but I'm pressed for time. So when I'm pressed for time. <laughs> That's good. Hawaiian dinner rolls. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So put that butter in there and throw it in the oven for five to ten minutes. Exactly. Well, you guys actually did. Did you guys stop into the stores today? Like, um, are you going to do that? uh, Whatever they want to call it. Depending. 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 I'll be honest. Depending. Yo, you might be standing outside on the line. At three o'clock in the morning, talking about <laughs> yo, let me get that latest right. gaming console. Don't, don't, don't get a don't get juicy Smollett out there. <laughs> oh no! <nah. laughs> <laughs> don't get juicy Smollett out there. Yo, you just out there nah. at the um. Yeah, I remember it was like when uh, PlayStation and the Xbox dropped the last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, my son was like, yo. Your dad, yo, can we go out there and, 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 you know, let's go to the GameStop. I was like, son, this ain't going to work. So he was like, yo. I said, all right. They said they're opening the, the doors at 6 a.m. I said, all right. I said, but son, this doesn't mean that we're leaving the house at 6 a.m. Yeah. 
I said, yo, you got to be there and be online and everything else like that. Right. So he came downstairs. You know, it was it was kind of sad because I was up. I was up. I was drinking a cup of coffee and I looked at him and he was just like, yo, dad. And it was like 545 in the morning and he was pressed. He was pressed. And I was like, yeah, you played yourself. You know that, right? <laughs> so we drove over to the GameStop. Yo, the line was spilling onto Hempstead Turnpike. I believe it. Yo, they had po- police were out there. They only had like four game con- consoles in the store. Yep. So I'm looking at him and I'm like, it's over. Yeah. I said, you, you know, he was like, nah, let's just stand out here. Maybe. I said, bro, come on. Man. Nah, you got to give it up. Man. Days for that PS5. He did it for days. He was telling me about it. Yeah, uh, but I understand. Not I still want an iPhone, but not from the PS5. I ain't doing. So that was the only time um, we actually stood out there, and it was like we only stood online for like maybe 15, 20 minutes because yeah. they basically said everything is shut down, uh-huh. and the police were there just to make sure no one got there. You know, you know, because they will, because they will. That's why. Yes. They yes. Will. It's the crazy thing about it. I mean, so hopefully by now everyone has a a PS5 or or it's easy to get to. It's not this craziness that you know the last two years that it's been. Cabbage Bash is all a uh, phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. It's been it's, it's, it's been kind of like that for some people though. Some people haven't managed to get their hands on one. Yet. Still haven't been managed. To ma- yeah, some people haven't. No. Got one. I mean, you would think like these type of things. You know, once you see, okay, <coughs> everyone's going crazy on the internet trying to buy it and everything like that, that you would yeah. mass produce it. Exactly. It's okay to mass produce it. Exactly. But Mm-mm. it's still, it's it's still <coughs> it's like the haves and have nots. Right. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, don't said, what is that item for you this year? Or do you have that item for you this year? I already got mine. I can't front. I'm good. What? what that doing? that it item, that, that it item. PS5, that, that item that you've been chasing. Or do you have one? Uh I'm a PC gamer. Okay. Cause that I'm that that's the upper echelon. Console gaming is below me. Okay. Mm. Ooh. So you wanna level up PC guy? Ted, I know, I know. Ted will, Ted will automatically level up. <laughs> <laughs> Barstard, Barstard, Barstard. Barstard. Oh, Barstard. Right. Sir Brian Takara says hello. Oh, oh, Sir Brian. Sir Brian. Sir Brian. Sir Brian. The Uno. Brian. Brian. Uno King. Yes. They go Brian. The Uno King, yes. Well, tell her I said hello. Oh, Greetings well. and salutations. Uh, uh, I hear that. Does that mean that you're going to Pinocchio? <laughs> <laughs> what are the, whatever the name of the app is called. Pokemon, <laughs> man. Yo, you be killing me. <laughs> Pinocchio. I know, right? I got now. I gotta go screw. I gotta scroll through the whole messaging and find that link. <laughs> He's gotta find that link, click on it, and be like, Run. "Yeah, to, to, yeah." Tony's holding my feet to the fire now. Yo, yo, Jojo, you yo, yo. yo, you see uh, yeah, Ryan at the point of downloading. Next thing you know, you see the Superman cape roll out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And his, yeah. whole, and his whole oh box God. of Uno cards talking about let's game. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it, it is collecting <laughs> dust. He's like, what's oh good? Oh, my God. Yo. Nah, it's all good. Holding it's my good. feet to the fire. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, you know what I'm trying to get? Get my hands on, and I'm trying to get it before this week is done. Try to order um. I don't know if you you guys seen this advertisement for them on uh, YouTube and whatnot. The bearskin hoodies. No, it's not. Yes. 
I think I have. Bearskin hoodie. Yeah, I think I did see those. Yeah, some 2.0 hoodie because now we got like the, the zipper, but it got a flap over the zipper. It got, a, got some pockets, but it, the, the insulation, like the. Hold on, I'll be it back. Keep you from the, 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 the weather, you know what I mean? The. Uh, the cold winds and whatnot. So, yo, it's not it's I not waterproof. It's not quite waterproof, but from it, it looked like a really serious hoodie, and they got a sale on them. So, like, if you if you hit it now, I think it's like sixty percent off. So, we're about to go see how that work out. Then uh, get me one or two. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh my god, but yeah, I'm gonna try to check those out. Um, let's see what else I can get, you know what I mean? Shopping wise, clothes wise, I mean, I went um, I pretty much took care of a lot of things I want to take care of for my birthday. I got a um, bunch of Bluetooths, you know, I got me a pair of AirPods for the first time. I wasn't gonna do it, but I saw them at a decent price, so I jumped on it. I got a pair of Beats at a decent price, Ooh. jumped on it, got me a pair of bowls, so I can't, I can't front. Just gotta maintain what I got more than anything. Right, right. I'm just dead serious. Maintain, maintain what I got. I could be greedy. Um, I got a decent employment, stable home. Just don't do anything, and that's all of this to it. Yep. That's all this to it. Yeah, man. Can't argue with that. You know what I mean, Psh, trying to get that going. Yeah, man, I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get back on the streaming thing, like hard body though. Um, I need to get that going and line up my 2023, man. I gotta, I gotta start going to these shows, man. Like, I gotta get back on these shows, show up to like, um, yeah, these UFC events, like these mixed martial arts events, like whether they're high. Or even like the the little regional joints, but just start showing up to those and see what's going on in that scene, and you know what I mean. Get the heads up on what's who's hot and who's not. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Who's on the come up, things like that. I've been uh, I've managed to actually do good and managed to like talk to some folks within the MMA realm. You know what I mean, like reporters and some fighters and I managed to make friends with some of these fighters. So that's pretty cool. But I just want to show up to like these events and get more in depth, like crazy info and stuff like that. And there's a whole bunch of like other crazy things that's going on in the sport. They got a, they got a dude who just got banned because he was gambling on his fighters. Like on his own fighters. Yeah. Fighters, he's training and yeah, yeah, it got crazy because um like a few weeks ago, uh, he had a fighter that was fighting on the card. He had two fighters that were fighting on the card actually. He had two fighters that were fighting on the card, and I think one of them, he kind of was training somewhat, but the guy in particular, he had an injury going into this fight, and. They had a crazy betting odds, but he knew something. And when the fight started, before the fight started, the betting lines went crazy in the opposite direction. And it was leaked out that this dude had an injury. Mm -hmm. And motherfucker probably leaked out that information, but the betting lines switched up. And when you're a person that you have info on your fighters, you do that. And if you're betting, bro, you know how much money you're going to be making off your own fighters? Well, when you make money off your own fighters, they got P. Rose for. See, that's going to be justified. When you yep. bet on your own people, you screw. The reason why people got P. Rose's back is he wasn't betting on his own team. He bet on yeah. other team. Exactly. And he wasn't even looking at no inside information. He was just playing the game. Yep. What you got right now, you're betting on your own people who you know better than everybody else. You're done, son. You're exactly. Done. Done. Exactly. That's, 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 he's better than and he's better than other fighters and his own fighters as well. You can't so, do that. They, they, yeah. So last week, and it sounded like a setup to me. It sounded like they set his ass up. So last week, 
They, 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 he got suspended. He wasn't in the corner of one of the fighters that he was training. That fighter won, though. And now they're doing a whole investigation on him. He's toast. It's going to be crazy. Even if you did it just one time, they're going to suspend you. Yeah. Or probably ban you for a temporary time frame, which is going to throw you out of the loop of the whole system. Then you got to get reacquainted and start from the bottom all over again. He's toast. Yeah. Yeah, he's... he's he might get back in, but they just they just they just destroy him. Yeah. Because he used to be a fighter, became a coach, but he's stupid too because he opened his mouth and talked about publicly betting on his fighters and mm-hmm. betting on fights. Hey yo, Ted, when you get back, smoke just went live, man. Oh shoot. Yeah. There he is. Dude. Smoke went live. Nice. All right. Yo, this is the bear skin. I, I, I caught one of these, Joe. Oh, I like that. This is the bear skin. This is I like that. A lot of different pockets. There's some material right here that I guess it's the logo or whatever like that. Yeah. But um, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. The zipper is on. The zipper is primarily on the opposite side. That's why when you said bear skin, I was like, oh, yeah. I haven't really worn it, but it, it feels warm. Yeah. It feels warm and with the super size hoodie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, so I'm looking to get myself probably one or two of those. Yeah. And it came pretty quick, like from the 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 moment that you ordered it, boom! It, came, it, it popped up, I think, within that week or whatever, like that. Nice, nice. Um, do that because I still got my Carhartt jacket. Yes, that still keeps me warm, man. Yo, man, you think I'm crazy, yo? I still got my Carhartt right in the. Yeah, you want to talk about the the warmest coat? <sighs> My coworkers wear it. They wear everything Carhartt. They get their own right. so, You go Carhartt, go especially on. if you're out there dealing with the weather and all of that. Yes. that they go yeah. the crazy I don't mess with the full coverall winter style. You know what I mean? People are going to still be telling me, yo, you need to still get that that North Face, man. Get that North Face, man. And I'd be like, you got to get that bro. Under Armour. Mm. Uppercut. Give me. Give me the Under Armour you said, Brian. <laughs> that Under Armour. Uh, that's only because Brian and I have deals with Under Armour. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, I was even thinking like, yo, I'm, I might get me a Nike Tech. Who knows, yo? Oh yeah, like one of them yeah. young boys. Be one of them young, young boys. boys. Nike Tech. <laughs> yo, Joe, my son turned me on to that. <laughs> Heard. My son turned me on to that. I was just like, I I said, yo, I could I could get it with the jacket. I said, them pants is a little too tight for me. That's yeah. what I was saying. Like, yo, I can't do that. I can't do the pants, man. The pants is a little get tight. The, get me the hoodie. I can't do the pants. I don't like the way those pants look. Especially around the ankles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I be looking at them like, yo, like son. Word man, I can't I said, do get it. your next size up. Word. So, yeah. Tone, what is what is smoke on? Is he he's live on now. Instagram or is... he's on YouTube right now? All right, he's on YouTube now. I don't see. I don't think he's on Twitch. Okay, I signed up on po- Pocha. Pocha, you're welcome. Pocha. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that. <laughs> no, don't say that. Yeah, you got to tell Tony thank you. Don't tell tell, tell Takara tell Takara thank you. So I'll wait, be. whose link is it that you were sharing? <laughs> that was hers. That was link. One that I sent you a couple of months ago. That was hers. Yeah, Takara. You sent us Takara's link and then you had a link. I have Can you one send the link? I sent Can you me. resend your link? It should be still in the chat, bro. Yeah, it's still in the chat. It's still in the chat. Still in the chat. Uh, that's how I decided, like, yo, I'm going to move over and I'm going to get that poker chop. 
And like I said, I check it. It's, it's, mainly, it's mainly like Periscope, a little bit like Heckle, but you can drop awards on it. But it has, does it have good filters? But can you have multiple people on the screen? <laughs> no. Well, well te it's Ted's just, a, just talking to people. That's the only Ted, problem I have with it. But I'm Ted's a fan about filters. Oh, Ted girl loves Carrie filters. Lake. <laughs> this girl Carrie Lake with the, the filter queen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, Unbelievable. <laughs> what are we doing here? Doing here? All, right. All right. So, Tone, um, I know you get ready to crazy. shoot over the, the smokes. Um, watching, <coughs> I mean, I know you are with family right now and <coughs> weddings and everything else like that. Where can we find you? So primarily, you're going to find me on Twitch. I mean, on Twitter, T O N Y T O N one six three. You also find me on Twitch, T O N Y T O N seven two. You can find me on TikTok, T O N Y T O N one nine seven two three. You can find me on IG, T O N Y T O N seven two. I'm all over the place, man. I, I am. You already know. Um, I do the Bell Kings Fantasy Football League once a week, Sunday mornings. Cover fantasy Wait. football. That's um, but from NFL.com, that's been running pretty good. Me and Glick been holding it down for real since Brian be busy and all over the place. I understand work schedule, but this joke will never be home. Ted be out with the family in the mornings. Understand wait, that wait, too. wait, wait. Last Sunday, I, know I can about all explain. That. It's, week, it's week 11, Brian. It's week 11. 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 How many sessions have you been on? And I replayed right. Pace. I replayed Pace this week. Sunday. <clears throat> Brian made too, but I understand he had to work. He has changed his work schedule. Um, no. I got the I got the link tree. I just forgot. Game one password. street. Um, we game one streak right now. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ted's on the verge. Of, Ted's like, Ted's like, yep, I will be the inaugural champion. <laughs> you got to get past Ethan Cam. That's Cam. Ethan Cam. Cam on his heels. Ethan Cam. Cam on his heels, straight up. Yeah, no, they are on my heels. They yeah, they are on my heels. I, I I will admit that, but, but at least at least on the on the plus side, like I don't have a I don't have a I I I'm not well. At least I know I won't be eligible for the first round pick next year. <laughs> I bet you won't go tell him that. Yeah, I would. I'm trying. Boom, to, I'm, boom, trying to, I'm trying to come back to the steps. I'm trying okay. to come I got I got to get the link tree up, but um, you got to get yeah, the link tree. I mean, up. I've been having fun. Like I said, definitely a blessed birthday today. Thank you to any and everybody all over the place. This was phenomenal. A lot of shout outs. So a lot of family. Ate a lot of food. Very comfortable. I have no complaints, man. For real, for real. God bless Jojo. Happy birthday to you, bro. You already know. Um, I do want to shout out OG Classic. It was his birthday yesterday too. He did shout me out. And I try to return the favor. So big ups to everybody whose birthday was yesterday. Um, big ups to all my fellow Sagittarians out there. It's our time. Yes. Yes. It's, it's our time. time. It's our time. time. It's our time. time. Yes, time. Big ups to everybody go. on airtime who shouted me out last night for my birthday too. Big ups to my airtime for my hats folks. I'm throwing it out there. I try to hold the family together for a reason. Last night was one of the main examples that came through big time. And I appreciate y'all when y'all see this. If y'all see this straight up. Straight Question. Up. Yes. <clears throat> what are you thankful for? Definitely. For my spunky. That's <laughs> <laughs> gonna she's gonna start gonna, blushing. You just gonna family family, friends, and opportunity like I would always tell the Panthers because yeah. you gotta have all of those to remain positive. A lot of people don't have out of them, two of them, or all three at once. When you have right. all three at the same time, Valid. it's mean it definitely re inspiring. So you got to be grateful for progression, positivity, opportunity, optimism, comfortability, all of that. And I actually did feel that today. It was awesome. Good. It was awesome, man. You got to, you got to. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, the bright side of things over the negative, and even when you got negative, you got to keep fighting. That's why I put that um song on my TikTok video. I played that little, I played a clip from um Optimistic by Sounds of Blackness. Ah, to, okay. To make to make it every year, listen to the song. As long as you keep your head to the sky, you can win. Right. 
And that part of that song always hits me right in the soul. You know, when something hits your soul and you feel all your nerve endings opening and everything just kicks out like you don't call the Holy Ghost or something. When yeah. I hear that part of the song, this is what it does to me. They did that song, that CD has done wonders for me ever since it came out just 30 years later. Wow. It's one of the greatest CDs ever. So yeah. definitely thank you to all. Thank you to everybody. Jojo, where can we find you? Um what are you going well we know how you're gonna be spending Thanksgiving and your birthday. Blessings to you for that. But where can we find you on social media? Well, you can find me on Twitter, man, Mr. B at Mr. B1986, man. You catch my random tweets. I retweet about fights. I share thoughts and analysis on fights. Uh I also do play-by-plays on Twitter, man. Um, you can catch me on OK Live on the weekends whenever you're trying to watch a fight. But we do the watch fights, and I do my commentary where I'm somewhat serious and somewhat joking, but I'm still doing what I do. And, um, yeah, man, I try to do my best while still following these combat sports, man. And that's that, yep. And the follow-up question to that is, what are you thankful for? Ah, man, three the three Fs, man: family, friends, and faith, man. Um, we really got to put our focus and our thoughts, uh, in a real clear headspace. I know there's a lot that's going on in the world, a lot of madness, a lot of craziness, but keep these three things in mind every time you wake up and before you go to bed, man. Uh. There's some things and there's some times where you feel like you can't go through certain things. Um, that's why you have your faith. You have your friends you can always talk to. You have your family that's always willing to support. Sometimes I know your friend, your family may not be all, you know, with you on certain things, but that's why you have your friends. And when mm-hmm. you don't have your friends, you have your family. When you don't have neither, you have your faith. And your faith won't fail you, man. But you always got to know. My grandma used to tell me, prayer without works is dead. So you always got to try to do things. Do the positive. Keep the positive. If you're praying, you're a person of faith, keep your faith. If you're not a person of faith and you believe in uh, karma and energies, then you always got to have your positive energies, as Tony said. If you're not... Things are going to fall apart, man. So always keep positive. Stay maintain your focus. And remember what you're here for on earth. You know what I mean? Yes. Man, I'm here for a good time. You don't know if you're here for a long time. But make the best of that time. That's all I got to say. Listen, <laughs> after that, I would say everyone pass around the collection plate. <laughs> it was a word, <laughs> but yeah. no, it's, it's it's very important. It's very important. Everything resonates in what you said. Um, you you got to stand on something. You got to stand on something. You got to believe something. Yeah, I'll know? be right back. One second. All right, you got to stand on something. You got to believe something. Um, you know, for the folks that are like, you know, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. Or, mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's not to knock anyone or anything like that, but like I said, there's there's a higher power. Yeah, you know, and it's just you understanding that and and allowing that to come into your life and helping you because, like I said, all the times what you just said, Joe, is all the times <laughs> it's 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 not going to be high. There's going to be sometimes it's going to be on the low. You're gonna be on low, and you're gonna need something to get you through that. Yeah, you know, and and it's it's beneficial if you do have, you know, family or you know functional family. Yeah, and or you do have the friends that do that will provide support that will sit there with you and talk and walk you through whatever trials and tribulations you might be experiencing at the moment because. When you're in the middle of something, it's different. You always need that friend on the outside that's able to, hey, you know, you're looking at it like this dead on because you've got tunnel vision. 
And you, yeah. you need that person on the side, whether on your left or your right, that has your back. You know, or that significant uh, and or significant other that can help you through that. So it's it's I just say, you know, it's important. Read your word. Um, get closer and establish a relationship, you know, um, and you can see you can kind of see the fruits of your labor when you have that kind of that that approach. Yep. You know, it's 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 to a point and it's not even to be about here talking about prosperity or anything like that, but it's like, you don't want for anything. You know, if you're doing the right thing, you're not a shysty person and everything else like that. We, we would hope that, you know, you're receiving these blessings in abundance and you're able to move a certain way where you like, yo, I'm not stressed out or, yeah. uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really have anything to worry about, you know, but um, that's what I'm really thankful for. I'm thankful for guidance. I'm thankful for being able to, um, you know, have a heart and have an open mind to listen and to talk with people and hear their point point of view and and, and, and the like, because you know what? We're all different. We're all from all different walks of life. Um, that app allowed us to connect and meet people near and far. Um, and that's the, 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 the benefit that I take out of it. That here it is a year later, or almost a year later, we're still talking or we're still in a, a group text right. and stuff like that. It's a year and a half, almost two years later. You're right. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You know, where we could just sit and laugh and joke and have a serious conversation and, you know, bring an issue to, you know, to you gentlemen to say, hey, I'm running into something. I want to just run this by you. What do you think about it? That's, that's the benefit and that's the truth to, you know, the app was the app, but people are people. Right. Um. I guess I went on my filibuster, Brian. Where can we find you on social media? And what are you thankful for? Uh, you can find me on Twitch at Texas uh, Cataskull. Um, you can find me on Snapchat at Thailander underscore F150. And contemplating on making a return to Twitter. Oh. Contemplating. Make that return, dog. Make that return. You gotta return. Trump did. You, you come back. Trump is back. Kanye is back. Where dog? Everybody's Bob back. says is back. Yeah. Um, Waiting on you, bro. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, and what am I thankful for? Just mainly to make it another day, keeping my my cool, calm, collectiveness, my sanity in the in the midst of the crazy world we live in. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, since uh, you know, we all getting we all getting deep. So I figured, all right, I'll bring some. This is what I read from time to time when things are weighing heavy on my mind. Um, <clears throat> it's from the philosopher uh, Lao Lao Tzu, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much simplicity, patience, compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. Simple in actions and thoughts, you return to the source of being. Patient with both friends and enemies, you accord with the way things are. Compassionate towards yourself, and you can reconcile all beings in the world. There you go. There you go. Hey, we want to thank Helen for joining. Um, also, Sunday Night Smoke, want to thank you for joining. Word. And we are out. Happy Thanksgiving and happy birthday to the birthday boys near and far. Word. And we will talk soon. Peace, y'all. To your mother. I, uh...